Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys this really quickly. Um, I went ahead and copied the files from the very... I went through the next two uh, lessons just on my own, and there's a lot to them, and I really need to go over them again. But at this moment, I'm not going to. Uh, what I did was I copied the .h file. Um, into the project and then I copied the um, the CPP file into the project <coughs> and then of course I made a few changes because of the shaders locations and then the uh, location of the textures is just in the main directory and the location of the levels is just in the main directory I also had to change some of the uh, include files to, to specify the include file names just little naming conventions glue and then this right here as well uh, basically but if you run it it does this it's got the little happy face block you can launch it and play the game. It's pretty cool. It's breakout. I like that it actually bounces based on where it hits the paddle as well, which I'm going to look at a little more closely. I just wanted to see if it would work because he does a, coll a collision detection, which is really cool. Um, uh, and I'm going to study that a little bit more, and I'm going to look at... Uh, there we go. Um, I'm going to look at that, and he also mentioned... Um, with collision detection he mentioned this box 2d which is pretty cool and I might actually get into this in which case I'll make some videos about how to do it um, it's a 2d phys physics engine for games which that's all I really want at this point is to do 2d um, at least for the majority of my projects I could probably do some 3d projects um, and I, in fact I will probably have to in order to explore the full uh, reach of what I want to do with OpenGL but but for now, this is something that I might uh, take a serious look at, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and have a good night.